Greetings there, fellow adventurers for Sauron, Radamon here. Thank you for tuning in to RimWorld Death of the Isle, episode 36, Ruins Bound. So I wanted to inscribe, um, oh, we're working on it. Perfect. Tal's actually has like no work left to do it. I wanted to give J Fry Blizzard before I head out. The other worry I have bringing Crimson is he is um, had a lot of mental breaks. So he might not be the best. Well, but he is bloodlust, right? Yeah, he'll be able to kill plenty of people and be happy that way. Hmm. All right. Uh, so let's see here. We're also going to want some bed rolls. So we'll do three linen bed rolls made by shield with a trip okay they're all good quality that's good enough His friend died. How long does that take for the mood to wear off? Uh, 12 days a piece. There's not much I could do about it other than just like, wait. So it is essentially just a waiting game. But in the dead of night, I'm going to have them venture on out. I actually don't know. Yeah, I'm going this path. So it will be shield. Crimson. J Fry. And I'll, I'll read the blizzard skill because I, I know I didn't. Um, before I do that, let's uh, give a new food restriction. I'll say everything, because whatever. The other worry that I have here is that um, because of how encumbered Shield is, he can't even carry his own food. I might need to give him, um, I might need to inscribe him with the ability to carry more weight. Because it's six days of food. I don't... I don't think that that's wise. I think that they'll run out of food. So there is a... Um, uh, where is it? There is an ability in here for carry weight, if I recall. There's also like gateways and all that, but I don't have the mana for that. Huh. Yeah, gateway. That would help. Maybe someday with Grow. Uh, strong back, yeah. So strong back is increased carrying. I think that will help. I guess we'll find out. Oh, Tal, you too? Man, everyone's getting wreck deprived. Uh, as a result of... Uh, the difficulty, really. That's hard to... Uh, gonna be hard to deal with, I think. Alright, let's see if that helps. Shield with strong back. No, strong back is um like haul weight, not carry weight, I guess. Oh, uh, I have to turn it on. There we go.
Yes. Okay. So he can carry more. I could also... We'll see about our days of food now. Eight. That should be enough for a round trip, plus... Uh, all the simple meals that are in stock. Never mind. Eight. So it's just meals and bed rolls. Uh, maybe take... No, we'll have medicine on us. I, I think I'm going to strung back um, crimson as well. So that I don't have to sort of, you know, fudge the numbers. They can be pack pals. All right. Oh, it looks good. We'll bring a few mana potions. And I think that's all we'll need. We don't really need to go very, with very much. I was hoping for like tea or beer, of which we have none. So I'll just send them with what we've got. And then reading J Fry's ability. Uh, blizzard. Calls forth a deadly blizzard to bury your enemies in ice. Um, and we can increase the power and the versatility and the efficiency, but I'm gonna work on the minor abilities. The reason is the ultimate abilities usually can only be cast like once a fight because they're very taxing uh it's just gonna be a lot easier for me to um, to spam the lower level abilities more frequently and because crimson is um high level plants he'll be foraging berries as they go or whatever there is to forage here Berries, agave, etc. Okay, cool. We are very backed up with our leather processing. I might need to harvest the lembus early. Unless the rice is getting close. No, the rice isn't close enough. All right, let's uh, pull the trigger and har harvest the lembus early. Because we're essentially like out of food here. So as the party moves around, they re reveal parts of the map, as the map has a fog of war. So the hope is that they will reveal something interesting while they're out there too. I can only attack enemy settlements with a necromancer, but everything else is fair game. Quest sites, etc. an orc that just fell down so you were asking how do we get more uh prisoners and well like that they fall from the sky so time to capture him and convert him probably I'm just going to make the decision to do that. 
They have terrible traits, but an orc's an orc. That's probably a bad place for the silver. So hopefully we'll um, hook up with this road and path to the ruins a little bit faster. It's hard to get through because if, if you see here, our base is like tucked into the mountains and you have to go through a cave system to get there. We're pretty well hidden beyond East Lake. Doesn't stop Gondor and coastal elves from sending everything at us. But the idea was that we're a little bit more off the radar, so they only send us their retirees, their, uh, their suicide squads. And boy, do they ever. Yeah, oh yeah, we're forging berries like crazy. And there, it's in everything, Bill. The food restriction for everything. Uh, hold on, I gotta get Yoda. Which means there'll be plenty of berries. Lore-wise, it could be coming in from boat. Yeah. I mean, we're on the coast. They could be stopping their boats just north and south of us and attacking us that way. And effectively, of course. Oh. Guero had an uh, art artistic creative break. At art three, I'm not sure that I would say I'm excited about it, but I'll have him do a small sculpture anyway. I will give him the attempt. And then laugh as it is something horrible and ugly. As I think you all know it will be. So Elwyn is... Oh, she had a... Um... Uh, we're under attack. Elwyn had her own uh, crisis of faith and joined the feminine army. Coastal elves. We have got... Uh... Lightning Mage, and an Empath, and a Blood Mage? No, a Succubus. Up north? Okay. Yeah, that's that's a group. And this is a attacking immediately, by the way. There seems to be another Lightning Mage. I am not happy about multiple Lightning Mages, as they have some, like, insta-gibbing capabilities. And then a Shaman. Got it. This is definitely a all hands on deck type of thing. And I'm going to, we know that they're attacking from here. Let's get everyone inside. And I don't think that the minions will listen, but I'll try. I think what might be best is for us to grab the northern groups as they pass by this gate. I don't think we're going to get there in time. Yeah, empaths could be nasty to deal with too, I know. What I'm hoping to do is get here and 
give these enemies annoying garbage to sh deal with. I can see they're charging up. Okay, there we go. Shatter bolted. Holding attraction. Uh, what? Uh, they hit me with something. Let's get out of that. Okay. Group one is down. And. I don't think I'm going to be able to capture anyone in the middle of this, so we'll just see who's there at the end. Oh, uh, no, let's go the other way. So they're making it inside in time, uh, which is fine. I can kill them as they enter the base. Fangface, um, you'll be okay. So this, out in front, is a shaman. And I'm ready for Isgaldir to pull. And... Okay. Yep, that's what I thought would happen. Alright, Madzy. Let's get you in there as well. Work on the succubus before it does any succubus magic. And then my guys get in a position. Um, the... Oh, no, the last group is going north. So let's get here. I'll have... I'm trying to think. Shadowbolt. Sorry, Zgaldir. You definitely got absolutely wrecked by that. I forgot about the AoE. Uh, we'll heal you maybe eventually. <laughs> I mean, you're already missing your toe, so I just I just gutted your stomach. The power of Shadow Bolt. Um, all right, you're dismissed. So that group is gone. Madzy, you're going to wait at the southern entryway. While we take up on the north. Now there's plenty of... Actually, is Galdir? Uh... No, no, you're fine. I think uh, we'll try to capture as many as we can for another orb of the Eternal at the end of this. So the empath is out front and is already fleeing. Magic missiles away. Okay, uh, you all got you got friendly fired by a blazing. Yeah, that happens a lot. There's a lot of people down. So here's what I'm gonna do. We are gonna turn this into makeshift prison which it was always sort of planned to be. Where we can do the heart surgeries in here much, much, much easier. And in fact, I empath did you think you were making it out here alive oh well i'm out of stamina so the base cost um stop gear repairing i can't even afford my own ability because of gear repair empath dead
And I don't know what we reveal with that app. Oh, did the... No, nope, there you are. Cool. There's a reason you don't use Shadow Bolt that much? Yeah, it's, there's a reason I don't have it on AutoCast. It's, uh... It's a little dangerous. A body part is entirely missing. Oh, you don't say. You don't say. So, Guero, you are one of the pseudo doctors. I don't think anyone's bleeding all that much because the wands that we used to subdue them don't do a lot of bleed damage. Is that it? Is that everyone that's coming? These five? So we've got someone waveringly loyal. Only one unwaveringly loyal. Okay. So unaffected by death. Abrasive and beautiful. Um, no permanent wounds. Sickly? Okay. Blur. Gross. Uh, I already know what I'm doing with you. Fast Walker, Night Owl, Beautiful. Alright. And... A careful shooter. Okay. Got it. The other thing is, like, our roster's filling up full of elves. It might... I think this group, I might just take their hearts. I might not even bother with any recruits. Because, um, you know, I don't necessarily want us to be so disproportionately uh, elvish in our Corsairs. I should check for bleeds, though. No, no one's really bleeding. Stop trying to leave. This is the surgery theater. You don't leave until we're done. It's funny because he could just, I mean, the blink's not on autocast, but he could just like blink out. Uh, excuse me, where are you going? Okay, five hearts. We had, uh, so what is our total now? Six? So we have two heals. One, uh, I think is due pretty obviously to, uh, uh, to his Galdir because we kind of gutted him. But the other one is less certain. You can leave it there. Now it's inside. I just didn't want it decaying out there. So, make two orbs. One of the advantages of just killing everybody that we could is we get a second full orb as a result, which is kind of nice. Very 
There's one of them. Oh, right. Uh, where did I put that bed? Here. There we go. It takes a lot of mana to cast that thing. To create an orb. A lot of necromantic power. So it's called here. I am going to administer an orb to you. And if it heals something other than the stomach, I'm just going to use dev mode. The game's a little stupid about what it tries to heal, as you may have noticed. Okay, no, it worked. Cool. Skull, Egal's Deer's uh, stomach has been restored by plugging it full of three hearts. That's how that math works. Oh, Mids, you getting a little too hot again? And you are wearing full body armor, right? I suppose. I suppose. The away team is making good progress. I don't know if they're going to get to the ruins in time. Very likely not. And Guerra has started his lovely sculpture. Well, I don't know if it's going to be lovely, lovely yet. We'll see. It is going to be definitely tricky to try to minimize uh, friendly fire damage from both spells and wands, as it's a very real threat. Uh, and hilarious when it's not done with care. <laughs> go there's the meat i was wondering when we get some meat back on the menu i'm a little worried about whoever uh starts hunting pissing off the whole herd i might want to hunt them manually yeah that's what i'm gonna do I do not trust anyone but Crimson for not getting smoked by a bunch of muffalo. Doing it manually worked phenomenally well. Rescue. Uh, excuse you? Do you understand the concept of hunting? Oh, there's still one left, too. The boars. <laughs> We're like, oh, it's... Time for us to, uh, to mosey on. Hunt. One. Uh, what is going on here? I will re -queue them up for hunting. No, stop trying to rescue them. What is with you? Oh, because I can't kill them with, um, wands. That explains it. So wait, Rogi will finish them off. And you guys stand around the hall.
you know, just wand things. What's weird is they can hunt the muffalo with the wands, but they can't right click it. There was some weird bug difference or something. I don't know. It's odd. But it wasn't a zoning restriction that that got lifted. Whatever the case is, it's nice to have meat again. Quite nice to have meat again. And I'll keep making uh, dried meat for travel as well. Oh, they're making good time now. 334 berries. You know... I'm going to put them on perishable and make sure perishable allows them to eat berries. I'm going to try to eat the berries and then go back to the dried meat. Uh, new food restrictions. I'll call this berries. Because this is probably a tactic I'm going to do often. I'm also going to include agave because sometimes you, um, you forage agave too. And then the everything restriction is just going to be dried meat and lembus. Or no, not lembus, um, mackie. The preserved mackie is like a travel food as well. And at some point we might um, plant mackie once we have the fields for it. And, um, and use that as travel food as well. The packaged mackie. So, J Fry. Oh, no, that's incorrect. Berries and agave, shield, berries and agave, and crimson berries and agave. Just don't get food poisoning. So, that will whittle, whittle down their berries stack because they have 10 kilos of berries. It's like actually slowing them down. Um, so, it'd be good if I, you know, ate the berries quickly because the caravan is at like maximum capacity due to the amount of berries that they're holding. <laughs> it's kind of silly. It's very hobbit of them to just be forging until they're encumbered. I, 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 that, or at least that's my opinion. Big hobbit energy. Crimson is having one of his fusses. Wait, what? Days of food zero. Hang on. Bears and agave. Okay. I didn't make any errors here. Allowed. Agave and berries. And... Crimson's refusing to eat berries? He's literally starving himself to death. And he's malnourished. Okay. I, I, I don't know why, but okay. You can have meat and Mackie. Maybe did goblins don't eat berries or something? Yeah. They literally, their diet does not include berries. That explains it. What about Urukai? Same deal. Okay, well, J Fry, uh, have all the berries you want because, uh, yeah, they're collecting for you. In fact, uh, it might make sense for me to tell them to stop foraging. I just don't remember how to turn that off while they're on caravan. Uh, Abandon a specific amount. I'm going to abandon a bunch of berries. We'll, we'll keep oh, 60 of it, but it, they're getting a little heavy. Uh, Elwyn has converted. So Elwyn is going to now be enslaved. So again, just a little reminder, we're not allowed to recruit anyone into our colony. The um, people in our colony are required 
to be of our ideology. So slaves, prisoner, well, slaves and colonists have to be of our ideology. And then colonists have to have either physical or magical capabilities, like, uh, like Zeke does, physically adept, uh, or full-fledged magic or might. So for Elwyn to join us as a colonist, which is what you guys decided, she needs to be enslaved first because she can't be a colonist without capabilities. Enslaved first, told to consume a, a, physic, a physical gem, which I will have to make, and then uh, re-imprisoned and then in recruited as a colonist. So it's, it's a process. And that's the same process that his Galdir went through, too. It's funny that his Galdir in a past life was a healer. Uh... Now you do the opposite. Yeah, you were an elf healer. <laughs> That's hilarious. Also, you aren't an elf, I don't think. No, you, you are an elf. Well, there's something to be said with for um, those that know how to use a blade as a healer or surgeon knows where to strike as a, an attacker. Strike for the arteries. The body's ley lines. All right, Guero, where are you? You were inspired and you made... Oh, it's excellent. On this work is an illustration of Tal adding surface detail to a cloak of supremacy while covered in grime. The cloak of supremacy is intricately detailed. The work has detail-oriented feeling and a triangular structure so grimy towel inscribes the illuminati symbols got it uh i will put this here i like it well done i'm proud of you Given that you had a skill of like, I think two or three when you started, an excellent piece of art as a result, which makes our hospital in extremely impressive is, um, well, impressive. I should probably at some point take the hospital beds out of there, but that's a project for another time. The Devil's Strand Harvest is on. So we ought to be getting a lot of Devil's Strand and that will be good for inscribing and possibly even armor making for our um, might users so that they can have a little pinkiness to them. Oh god, how much f friendly fire are we going to have? A hundred percent? It's like watching a slow-moving train wreck. Oh! Vagabond wishes for alms. Any of you guys, uh... Human, human... I think you'll all look human. Well, that's too bad. Well, I think um, with this cliffhanger of going both into the ruins and dealing with the vagabonds, uh, well, it's going to be a cliffhanger because I think this is this is where I'm going to leave off right here because I am officially out of time. Thank you for tuning in to RimWorld Death of the Isle, which originally streamed live on Twitch March 10th. 
If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you would like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams, as well as a link to Discord if you would like to join my online gaming community. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel and made it all the way to the credits. Thank you so very much. Hope to catch a next episode or upcoming stream. Farewell, my fellow Corsairs.